Man, tonight we are proud to join together in a celebration. The tra tragic events of last April the 15th at the conclusion of the Boston Marathon left many angry, despondent, and in mourning. In the days since, the healing process has begun, and tonight we attempt to take another step in that direction, running steps, in fact. Our thoughts and prayers continue to be with those families of the three victims whose lives were lost, and in doing so, we celebrate them, as well as the courage of everyone coping with memories. Our celebration tonight shines on two groups of people. First, the first responders, whose duty it is every day to run toward danger and to possess the skills that aid us in our most desperate times of need. At home plate at this time are Round Rock firefighters Captain Mark Selby and Lieutenant Mike Hurd. Tonight representing our own local first responders who stand ready each and every day on behalf of the citizens of our community. Captain Selby and Lieutenant Hurd are holding a banner that reads, Run Austin, Love Boston. It's not just a banner, however, it's a finish line. A symbolic finish line for three runners from the Austin area who were competing in the Boston Marathon last week but were not allowed to finish due to events. Maria Groton, David Garza, and Matt Harmatuck were in Boston to run the marathon for a charity called Champions for Children in addition to raising funds for that cause. These three close friends and fellow running enthusiasts were excited about competing together in one of the running community's top national events. They ran at different paces, but just knowing they were competing together in the same prestigious event added to their thrill. That thrill was disrupted by tragedy. Tonight, these three friends are reunited. We now direct your attention to center field as Maria, David, and Matt enter the field tonight to symbolically finish the race together. And we ask that you please join in welcoming them as a tribute to the entire running community. Finish the race. Congratulations, Maria Groton, David Garza, and Matt Harmatuck. And thank you also to Round Rock firefighters, Captain Mark Selby and Lieutenant Mike Hurd for providing a steady hand at the finish line and in serving our community each and every day. Maria, David, and Matt are now being presented medals by fellow Boston Marathon runner, Paul Carmona. And now, earlier tonight, we welcomed another special guest, Katie Carmona, who attended the Boston Marathon last week to watch her husband, Paul, compete in the race. Moments after her husband had crossed the finish line, she and friend Amy Bertie were standing just a few yards away from the first bomb when it exploded. Thankfully, neither she nor Amy were seriously injured. Sadly, as we know, others were not so fortunate. Tonight, Katie performed the honor of throwing out tonight's ceremonial first pitch, and now we welcome her back onto the field to perform another honor. Fans, please join your voices together as Katie Carmona leads us in the singing of God Bless America. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans wide with foam. God bless America. 
Thank you, Katie Carmona, and thank you again to Maria, David, and Matt, as well as Captain Selby and Lieutenant Hurd for participating in tonight's tribute. With the assistance of Conley Sports Productions, another area running organization, a fundraising effort is underway to benefit a project called One Fund Boston to help those most affected by the tragic events of April the 15th.